Hey everyone, in the news this week, Finland and Sweden announced plans to join NATO, so I for one want to congratulate whichever one of them it is that ends up winning the Eurovision Song Contest next year. Talk of which, the European Broadcasting Union is apparently investigating the possibility that last week's Song Contest vote was attacked by hackers trying to influence the result. And one of the key pieces of evidence in that investigation must surely be the fact that Britain got, quote, lots of points. Here's a story. Uh, apparently seven treated for breathing problems at a Birmingham Sainsbury's. Can't be bothered reading the rest of the article myself, it's the BBC after all, but I'm imagining they started hyperventilating after they saw the price of avocados these days, or possibly crunching up cornflakes. Blimey. Uh, there have been continued attacks from the left against the government's proposal to send illegal migrants to Rwanda. I saw someone being interviewed on the TV saying that apparently LGBT people would face persecution and possible death threats if they were sent to Rwanda, which makes you wonder why they think they would fare any better in Tower Hamlets. It's been a while since I've seen a gay pride march in Whitechapel. There's also the story about monkeypox doing the rounds, and I can't believe it's nearly the end of May already. Where's the year gone? You know, monkeypox season already, and I haven't taken down my Ukraine decorations yet. Joking aside, a friend of mine actually thought they'd contracted the disease, but it turns out they'd just fallen asleep in a box of Maltesers after one too many glasses of wine. And finally, Australia had an election where a beleaguered and scandal-hit Prime Minister was ousted by the Labour Party, all of which must have been fairly ominous for Boris Johnson. Unless, of course, he just decided to cheer up and open another bottle of wine. A friend of mine used to say he never dealt with negatives either. Wonderful bloke, terrible photographer. Anyway, see you next week. Please subscribe.